nice about having those carabiners here is that you can un unpeak away your yeah, peak away and then redo it when you get it screwed up because that's pretty much inevitable. Yeah, yeah. I want to at some point really figure out your your rubber band tie off technique you just demoed there, Matthew, because I missed it and I know you're trying to get it set up here, but that looks like a very cool, handy way to yeah. secure Solving on and secure that, off. That loop problem. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah, just if you use two rubber bands to, first we're just going to get this hooked in here. Now, you, need to, you need to have a door here so you can get to your cam. You need to figure that out. That would drive me nuts if I couldn't see the LCD and oh, yeah. get to all the buttons. Well, my goal with this crate rig was not so much to make the best rig possible. My goal was to make a rig that you could put together that gave you this kind of flexibility without having to drill or cut anything. Did you say you bought, you had to buy like 10 of these or something? Well, I could have bought one for $15. With or, shipping and handling. Being or I could have <laughs> bought, or, or, or I could buy 12 for $24. And you did, that's what you did? <laughs> so I bought, I bought 12 of them for 24 bucks instead of... That's uh, what I would have done too. So the dollar now, store usually carries those things. But are they the same quality? Are they same stuff? Pretty much, yeah. So I they're, they're took a rubber band it? around this. Well, Walmart's doing it too, but they're cheaper than Walmart. And then I have a little CD uh, size ones from uh, Office Depot. Itself. Which I had spare of. And then take this rubber band. I didn't know you had stick found it through like that. I had to brought you the extras. And I'm done. Very nice. I like that technique, Matthew. Oh, you got Thank that. You. Yeah. You, got that good you can do multiple tie points too, so. There we go. That's well, looking good. Sure. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. What so do you do to keep your peak of a on peak of a in transit? Uh, daisy chain. Oh, uh, like that. I don't know how to do that. Uh, or <laughs> uh, this is another technique that some of us would really like to understand better. And she's good at it too. Look at that. And then well you can done, Jessica. Flip it one more time at the top. Uh huh. That's better than the way I daisy chain. Nice. And then once you clip it up here, then it stays. I would be yeah, scared that Jesse's that my peak of A would would have to be like cut off with scissors and start off. So this, you do have to do this it rig loosely. You can make it where it's too tight. I came up mm -hmm. with the idea of adding carabiners to this rig because Jesse started using crates, mm -hmm. and now Jesse has shown me how to actually rig it up so I don't tangle it into a mess. Yeah, cool. All right. Nice. Just, Whoa, so really you got good. That on video? Would, yeah, you do a would you do a research note on that? that? Sure. All right. Because uh, Jesse just did that. So it's like magic. I was just so impressed. I thought there was magic happening. I have no idea what she did. So umpteen problem solved here in this. Everybody share. Peak of a yeah. line management, flex crate mm -hmm. management, so special rubber band, tie off technique. Of this, what else did I miss here?